So one of you guys commented and asked me to do a video about all the supplies you need to open an online boutique. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to share with you a whole list of everything you need. So the first thing that you're going to need is packaging. So for any online store, you're going to need something to ship your items in. So for me, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on custom packaging, even though believe me, I looked... It's tempting. They're so cute, but it's a lot of money for first-time business owners. So, I went with Polly Mailers from Amazon. They say the exact same thing. They say, obviously, you have great taste on both of them. And I think these are super cute, but they're super cheap. I have been in business for a year and a couple months now, and I have not repurchased these one time. Polly Mailers, Amazon. It's also really helpful to include some sort of coupon or incentive in your packaging. So for me, I literally ordered about 200 of these off Canva. Now, I have had to buy more of these because when I do pop-ups, I will also put these in the orders, like when people purchase something, I will leave one of these in the bag. On the front, it says $5 off your next order and it has the code and it says thank you, we appreciate your business with my website at the bottom. And then on the back, it says tag us on Instagram, wear it and share it, and then has our Instagram handle. So these are fun. And they really do work because the amount of people that I have had return to my website to purchase a second item just because they have a $5 off coupon, it amazes me. Like, I cannot believe how many people really do use these. This is not a need by any means, but it is something that I do. So, I made these cards also on Canva. And what I do with these is I leave them in local businesses. So this one is kind of more so just to like get your name out there and grab people's attention. So definitely not like a need. You don't have to have these by any means, but it's a fun little thing to do just to leave around your town, get people talking about it, hand them out anywhere you go. I wanted to mention that, but it's also not a necessity, you know? That is pretty much all for packaging, but now we need to talk about the labels that go on the packages. So almost every single YouTube video you will watch about being an online boutique owner and what you need, they're gonna tell you you need that Dino or Damo, I don't know what it's called, Dynamo. Anyway, every single video I watched told me I needed one of those printers and you do not need one. I use our family printer you can use any printer for this. I literally bought this pack of paper. I want to say it's like 10 bucks for how many comes in here? 200 labels. I bought this off Amazon. 200 labels. You literally just put these in the printer and then it prints it off and you can peel them. So 10 bucks, 300 bucks. You do the math, sweetie. The next thing that you will need if you plan on doing returns, like if you allow people to send stuff back to your store, or if you plan on doing pop-ups, anything like that, is tags. So again, for this, I went to Canva. I bought 200 of these for 30 bucks. Y'all use Canva for everything. I'm just telling you right now, I'm a Canva stan. Canva stan because 200 of those for 30 bucks. This is what they look like. These are my tags. They're actually business cards. All I did was put my business name and the website at the bottom. The back is completely blank. And if I do a pop-up, I can use my tagging gun, put the price on there. Along with the tags, you will need a tagging gun. So mine, again, from Amazon. You literally just take your tagging gun, push a hole through your tag, and squeeze the lever, and that's how you tag a product. So you'll need a tagging gun to be able to put your tags on. You will also need a steamer. So this one was also, again, super cheap, but it works. I want to say I paid 20 bucks for this at Walmart, and this is what I've been using to steam my clothes. So you do not have to spend a ton of money, especially if you are just online. You want to keep your overhead as low as possible so you can make some of your money back. And then the last product that you will definitely need for an online store of any kind is a scale. So you can buy these super cheap. 
again off Amazon. You will have to weigh your products before you put them in Shopify and when you're mailing them out you have to mail and put in how much the label will be for that. So you will need a scale. And then lastly here's a generic list of things you might need depending on how you plan to store your products. But girl it is your store. It is your business. And you store things how you want and how it's most efficient for you. Don't listen to anyone else. Do it how you want. But um, here's just another little list. So you might need hangers. You might need clothing racks. You might need the um, drawers, like the stackable drawers that you can store things in. And you might need baskets. If you have any more boutique questions or anything you want to ask me, feel free to shoot me a DM over on Instagram because I do answer my DMs. Feel free to follow my online clothing store because it's pretty cute if I say so myself. And I will see y'all in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye!